Julia, I am so excited for us to do this search together to like try to find out what we can know about this question. And um, could you tell me again what the question is? Sure. So um, what are the causes of anxiety and depression in college students? Okay, so what I put in was causes, anxiety, depression, college students in the one search, uh, search box. One search is our discovery tool that searches most of the resources in the library. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about what we notice in this search. And yeah. one of the things I notice is that there's almost 68,000 results. Mm -hmm. I notice that most of the results are articles, but they also make a differentiation between newspaper articles and articles. I don't really know what that means. I noticed that 198 books come up. I noticed that this first page is 10 results, but if I want to see more, I can click that box for more results. I noticed these little pictures tell me that these are articles, although it also says up here, article. Uh, and I noticed that on this first page is only one book. But I also noticed that almost that everything on this first page is available online, which is great because, you know, that's our only choice. Does that also mean that they're full text or can we or? Um... Yes. Can we take a, a look at some of these titles and see what we notice about our topic? Yes. Um, the first thing I notice is this first article, level of depression and anxiety among undergraduate students. So they're talking about undergraduate students, not graduate students, mm -hmm. not professional students. I notice the second one is uh, what to do when college is not the best time of your life. So this is directed at students, because it says your. On this one, depression, anxiety, and academic stress among college students, a brief review. I noticed that this one comes from the Indian, Indian Association of Health. And when I read this little clip, depression, anxiety, and academic stress among college students are a cause of concern. Every nation invests a lot of money on education. So the, the focus is really on money, economics, which I really wouldn't have thought when I was first thinking about this topic. That surprised me. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that either. And then the second one is college students in China. And look at this little clip here. Have a uh, something something, have a significant correlation with the psychological adaptation of college students in China. A significant relationship was found between the father's education and occupation and college students' level of anxiety and depression. So it's a focus on the economic class level of the family. Again, that wouldn't have occurred to me mm -hmm. that any part of this research would be about the economy. Mm -hmm. I think that's interesting. Yeah. Let's look at the next one. Rumination and anxiety mediate the effects of loneliness on depressed mood and sleep quality in college students. What do you notice about this one? Um, I think what stands out to me is that they mentioned sleep quality, which mm -hmm. I, I guess I, I would assume maybe that relates to um, anxiety and depression, but I'm curious how it's connected or specifically related to what college students are experiencing with sleep quality. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens if we go up and we change our search terms yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I think I'm totally happy to keep looking through these. I think there's some that I might want to be interested in reading, but I'm just interested in what would show up if we change things. Like what would happen if we took, um, anxiety out and we just searched about depression yeah because one of my like branching off questions is specifically about how depression affects college students mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Let's take a look. This one, um, 147,000 results. That's a lot. Again, (laughs) most of them are in articles, but look, there's so many in newspaper articles for this one. That's weird. Yeah. And there are way more books this time. So let's take a look at this one. First one's an article. Second one is a book. Depression source book. Oh, this one is available at Shoreline Community College, which means this one's in print. And for our search, I want to keep it online. Yeah. I'm going to click on available online on the left hand side. Funny. It's the same book, but now this one's available online. That's great. We must have had two copies. That's cool. Depression Sourcebook, basic consumer health information about the symptoms, causes, and types of depression, including major. This is the longest title I've ever seen. But it's like there's so much in it. I wonder if this would be good to learn sort of general information. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why this one is showing up. (laughs) Maybe this would be the perspective of a teacher who teaches depressed students. Perhaps, we could, yeah. And that might be interesting, too. Like, I can see myself being very interested in what do you do if you're a teacher and you realize your student, your college student is depressed? Yeah. Maybe. What do you think? You don't look so interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that I think it doesn't have to do with the uh, it has to do with students, but it's through the lens of other through a teacher, which I don't know if students necessarily would want, like, I don't know if I would want to learn about myself through how my teacher sees me. I'd rather kind of learn about either through other students studying students or um, maybe somebody, somebody who's coming at it from a different lens. Mm -hmm. Because I think, but it could be, it could be interesting. I just think it might get be getting too far away from the, my original question, which is the causes, what causes depression for college students or what causes anxiety and depression. So just to recap, the kinds of things that you and I just did were we tried out some different keywords to try to get some answers to our question, or at least to see what, what are Um, writers writing about when it comes Mm -hmm. to this topic. Mm -hmm. We really noticed whether we were interested in an article. We really noticed whether we thought we would understand the words in the article. And in some cases, we really tried to understand the title of the article before we automatically decided not to use it. Right. Right. And then we talked, we just in the conversation, just in the reading, I think we started getting some clarity on what question we're really interested on, really interested in. Right. Yeah, I think, yeah, we paid a lot of attention to looking at um, how do changes in keywords change the search results too. Yes. 